Shalom brothers and sisters. Today I want to delve into God's lampstand and the detail behind the instructions he gave. God instructed the house of Israel to build a seven branched lampstand of pure gold. Exodus 25 verse 31 to 40. The shape of the lampstand is like that of a flowering tree. God gives them precise details for every single part of the lamp, including material used and how it is interconnected in its parts. The reason for this is that God always has truth and revelation layered into everything he does. The parts. On each of the six arms were three golden almond blossoms. Together with the four on the central shaft, this made up 22 almond blossoms. Between the 22 flowers, there were 21 connections. From the lowest flower to the top flower on the shaft to the six lamps, there are 27 connections. 3 by 8 plus 3, 27. Together with the highest connection from the top flower to the middle lamp, there are a total of 28 connections, 4 by 7. Together, this makes 50 parts and 7 lamps. The Almond Tree The Almond Tree is the first tree in Israel which awakes from its winter sleep to life and blooms. Therefore, the white almond blossom is a symbol of life and purity. God paid attention to the details from the very beginning, for he commanded that every single almond blossom on the menorah should consist of three parts, namely the cups, buds, and blossoms. Together, they are 3 by 22, which is 66 single flower parts. The Hebrew alphabet has 22 letters and the Greek has 27 letters. The total is 22 plus 27, which gives us 49 letters. The menorah has 22 almond blossoms and 27 connecting parts. Together, there are 22 plus 27, 49 parts. On the shaft, there are 7 parts and on all six side arms as well. They are therefore exactly 7 by 7, which is 49 parts of the menorah. The Bible was written on 22 Old Testament and 27 New Testament scrolls. Together, that's 49 scrolls. The 49 symbolizes the complete conclusion and final completeness of the word of God. 7 by 7, 49. However, the menorah still has a connection from the uppermost almond blossom at the shaft to the middle lamp. This symbolizes the most important part or the most important book of the Bible, namely the book of life. 49 plus 1, 50. Parts of the Bible. The menorah has seven lamps and the Bible consists of seven parts. Each of these parts symbolizes a lamp, for the word of God is the light for our dark world. The seven parts are the law, the prophets, the writings, the gospels, the acts of the apostles, the epistles, and the revelation of Jesus Christ. Cups, buds, and blossoms. Each almond flower consists of three parts. Cups, buds, and blossoms. Together, that's 3 by 22, which is 66 almond blossom items. On the center shaft are four almond blossoms with a total of 12 flower items. On the left side of the menorah, there are 27 flower parts on the three arms. The 12 flower parts on the stem 
plus the 27 flower parts on the left side are a reference to the basis of the Bible, namely the 39 books of the Old Testament. The other 27 flower items on the right side of the shaft indicate the 27 books of the New Testament. John 1 verse 1 to 14 In the beginning was the Word, and the Word was with God, and the Word was God. He was with God in the beginning. Through Him all things were made. Without Him nothing was made that has been made. In Him was life, and that life was the light of all mankind. The light shines in the darkness, and the darkness has not overcome it. There was a man sent from God whose name was John. He came as a witness to testify concerning that light, so that through him all might believe. He himself was not the light. He came only as a witness to the light. The true light that gives light to everyone was coming into the world. He was in the world, and through the world, though the world was made through him, the world did not recognize him. He came to that which was his own, but his own did not receive him. Yet to all who did receive him, to those who believed in his name, he gave the right to become children of God, children born not of natural descent, nor of human decision or a husband's will, but born of God. The word became flesh and made his dwelling among us. We have seen his glory and the glory of the one and only Son who came from the Father, full of grace and truth. It symbolizes Yeshua, Jesus. He is the light of the world. He is the love, the word and the Savior. The Holy Spirit, without the oil, there is no light, no illumination. The Bible, seven parts, 49 scrolls, 66 books, the word of God, the light in this dark world. The book of life, eternal life, Revelation 3 verse 5 and 20 verse 12 to 15. And our way of life as a light in this world, Matthew 5 verse 13 to 16. The menorah is not a normal lampstand. It is a miracle, just as the Bible itself is also a miracle. And I hope that this gives you some depth and explanation and understanding the next time you see a biblical menorah. God bless and shalom.